Two days after the International Court of Justice ordered Israel to halt its offensive on Rafah, Israeli bombardment killed at least 45 people in the western part of the city. After this attack, an AI-generated image showing an aerial view of the refugee camp went viral on the internet with the text, All Eyes on Rafah. Many celebrities across the world have started posting this image on their social media timelines, calling people's attention to what is happening in Gaza. The photo has sparked controversy when netizens started pointing out that the image looked nothing like the Rafa cam and portrays a wrong image of what has happened. Responding to this, pro-Israelis have come up with another social media post saying that if your eyes were on Rafa, then help us find our hostages. I have with me Wing Commander Praful Bakshi and Sanjeev Shivastav joining us on the broadcast. Wing Commander Bakshi, let me begin this conversation with you. Keeping the social media controversy aside for a moment, what has happened in Rafah and the statement then released by the IDF where they are claiming that they did not target a refugee camp, but they struck two senior terrorists of Hamas and in the process, in the missile firing, they are unsure of how the camp caught fire. Does that explanation then really hold any ground as far as just a humanitarian basis is concerned for the idea of to come out and make the statement that, oops, sorry, we made a mistake? Uh, Devika, uh, thank you for asking me this. Uh, as you know, <clears throat> the Rafah border on the on the Egyptian side uh, is uh, is open now to the Israeli tanks, which are going in and coming out from Philadelphia corridor, which is much under the control of, I mean, uh, 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 under the you know firepower of Israel. Uh, 